But our top story right now and only on News 6, a Volusia County man has filed a lawsuit against the Daytona Beach Police Department. Kerry Jarvis says two officers violated his civil rights when they pulled him over for a traffic stop. An officer's body camera captured the whole incident. That video led to a judge's written reprimand saying the officers acted illegally and the state dropped the charges. News 6 investigator Lewis Bolden broke this story at 5 and spoke with Jarvis about how this went down. This is video from the moment Daytona Beach police officers pulled over a vehicle that allegedly failed to stop at a stop bar. 41-year-old Carrie Jarvis is the driver. Yes, sir. After about eight minutes, Officer Marvel Tucker returns and tells Jarvis he will be given a warning and asks him to search the vehicle. Over the next three minutes, officers asked Jarvis to get out of the car. This time, Officer McKenzie takes over. Undo your seatbelt, because we don't know if you're hiding weapons, guns, grenades, anything, man. Jarvis gets out, and McKenzie comes to the driver's side. Jarvis asks to speak to someone else twice. He never consents. When officers say he can't watch the search, Jarvis gets back in the car and officers try to pull him out. Don't do it, man. Jarvis punches the gas. Officer McKenzie falls to the ground and Officer Tucker jumps into the vehicle. Then Jarvis crashes into a ditch. Why did you hit the gas? Hit the gas? I didn't want to get yanked out of my truck. I didn't know what they were doing. One grab me by my neck, the other one grab me by my leg. What am I supposed to do? I ain't gonna let somebody in their right man sit there and beat on them. Jarvis was arrested that day on three felony charges, two counts of aggravated battery on a law enforcement officer and aggravated fleeing. He was held without bond and spent 369 days behind bars. That one little blink of an eye, I lost everything. I lost my kids back, I lost my house, I lost my, my vehicle, I lost everything I had. But when Judge Sandra Upchurch saw the video, she wrote, the videos are the best evidence of what occurred that day. Writing in a ruling, Mr. Jarvis was unlawfully detained after his first denial of consent. Had officers allowed Mr. Jarvis to leave as he was entitled to, no one would have gotten hurt. The injuries resulted from the officer's own illegal activity. The state later dropped the charges. It just disturbs me because, you know, if they do it to me, they do it to somebody else. According to police records, the department found Officer McKenzie violated three departmental standards directives and was given a written reprimand. A department spokesperson confirmed via email, Officer Tucker was terminated for another incident not involving Jarvis. Jarvis's attorney, Arthur Huggins. We want to establish that this is a, a pattern that the city of Daytona Beach is allowing to happen. Huggins says that is the point of the lawsuit. He is suing the department, both officers individually and in their official capacity. The department is not commenting due to pending litigation. Getting results, I'm Lewis Bolden, News 6.